And we do know that Vice President Kamala Harris just made her first public appearance since President Joe Biden announced he is dropping out of the presidential election. We, have, of course, are monitoring the situation and we'll bring you any updates as they become available. And our top story this morning is that decision by Biden to drop out of the election. And the nation is reacting to yesterday's decision. It's been 24 days since the debate performance that led Democrats to urge him to step aside. But doing so was ultimately his call to make. ABC's Christian Cordero has the latest from the White House. Vice President Kamala Harris is now the one to beat for the Democratic nomination, buoyed by President Biden's endorsement. With the Democratic National Convention less than one month away, Harris says, quote, I'm honored to have the president's endorsement and my intention is to earn and win this nomination, end quote. President Biden taking himself off the ticket yesterday afternoon, writing, It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president, and while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. The president's announcement followed a snowball effect of congressional Democrats calling on Biden to drop out, 40 total, fearing the party would not only lose the presidential election, but also the House and the Senate. Here's Kamala Harris going from number two to number one like that. And it's going to take a real transformation on her part, and she's going to have to perform. Everyone's going to be watching her very closely. And with just 106 days to go before the November election, former President Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, spent the weekend campaigning in Michigan, polling the crowd as they are now forced to change course. So who would you like to most run against if you're us, if we want to win? Ready? Kamala Harris. Crooked Joe Biden. All right. I don't think we have to go too much for The Trump campaign has been preparing for this for weeks. Pro-Trump super PAC MAGA Inc. immediately launched a multi-million dollar ad effort targeting Kamala Harris, airing in Pennsylvania, Arizona, and Georgia. Christian Cordero, ABC News, the White House. And we'll have more on Biden's decision and the effect it will have on the election coming up.